Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're going to have the pleasure of watching... Whatever. <laughs> Playing the Chimera. Chimera in English. Uh, Chimera in Greek, or as I call it, Chinometimera. My geek friends have died laughing right now. <laughs> you know what it is. Tier 8 rewards tank from the first campaign i believe yeah first campaign i believe this is before the object 260 or because the other one has uh that british tank destroyer with a weird turret that turns a lot and then it has what does it have well we know the object 279e is the last one but what's the previous one or or is this the previous one i think this is the previous one sorry brain thingy over there the other one has the first campaign has the Stug 4, IS-3, and Karna GG Mongols. No, whatever. Yeah, I mean, look what they went. So, the first one has Stug 4, T-28, um, and then it has the, uh, the T-55A and Object 260. Okay, the second campaign has the Excalibur, this one... The um Hinometimera. Oh Himiti Nikta. Tinikta Galmerota. I will let my my Greek friends translate. Tinikta the Galmerota Monometimera. And then it has the object 2790. This is right before the object. Great. So he has gone to the classic choke point. Uh choke point. Did I say choke point? The classic camping point in the beginning of uh the battle there's a 50 tp prototype who is well he's basically by himself and there's a he's backed up by him and the nomad our friend is pretending to be a tank destroyer but what is he gonna do lone key get killed Ooh, the first victim or could it be no 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 okay there you go nice oh come on we're gaming are you serious? Are you serious? What is he shooting? Regular stuff. 218 pen, 440 alpha. We will show velocity under a thousand. She just shot the lobs in. Wargaming said nine. Or nicht. Or, um, niet. <laughs> said Wargaming in Russian. <laughs> You want a pen? Look, if you want a pen, I can give you a pen. If you want a pen. <laughs> I have lots of pens here. Because I used to be an English professor back in the day. And I used to teach a lot of kids. I can give you a couple of pens. You want some pens? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Just Uncle Zach being silly. Let's see, how's he gonna do? How's he gonna do? Today, channel members are getting a special. They're going to see what happens behind the scenes. So I encourage, if anyone wants to join, you're going to get all the benefits. And you're going to see the other, the other videos, too. So, what are these two guys doing? Uh, they, are, they are storming that poor P-50 prototype. Eyes 3 decided to come back. The first guy who died was the AAT-60. Very good. Well, not very good. I'm being sarcastic. Mm, can he shoot this guy? CS-63? Yes, he can. Come on, man. It's a medium tank. Shoot! Shoot! You want to shoot? Shoot! Don't talk. <laughs> who knows the reference to that one? Ooh, nice shot there. 443. Is he spot? Yeah, he spotted. Ooh, nice. And he got some tracking assist. Very nice. I think you have a shot on the T-69, buddy. But, okay. Why not shoot the IS-3? Because he clapped you for 407. Ouch, man. That thing hurts. IS-3 is still a good tank, even in this meta. IS-6. Ugh. I, before starting this video... Right before starting the video, before I started recording, I read a comment somewhere on, on, um, on one of my videos... 
from a guy saying that IS-6 has been power creeped. And I get it, yeah, it has been power creeped. Back in the day, IS-6 was, oh my god. There was no BZ-176, there was no Char Futur, where there was no um, Char Blen. Ooh, nice. More tracking. What is that T-69 doing? Ugh. There wasn't any, uh, uh, those, uh, tanked destroyers with four shot, uh, auto, auto loader clips that could hitch harm you for 1,500 damage or something like that. Uh, I6 got power creeped. I still play it from now and then. It's a nice tank to play. It's fun, but going up against nines and tens, I think it sees tens. I'm not sure. I haven't played it in quite a while, so... But it sees 9s for sure, I'm sure about that. I have fought against tier 9s. Tier 10s, I'm not so sure. Well, they're winning! That 50 TP... held his corner. Well, he was backed up by 3 tank destroyers and... 3 or 4 tank destroyers and... No, actually, more! There's also the... SU back there. Let me pause this for a second and let's take a look. There's an SU 130PM back there. Also helping? Let's see. Well, yeah. Okay. Let's get back to the action. And it's the action, not the, not the action, like uh... This girl is on fire! Oh man, I love it when that happens. I love it. I love it when you set your enemies on fire. Shoot! And he's dead. What the hell was that T69 doing? Trying to brawl with the with a heavily armored medium? This is a heavily armored medium. Wow, I like the fact that they had also had a nemesis. I just noticed. <laughs> Okay, if that guy pokes, he's dead. No, he's not. SU-130 PM is about to die in the next uh, 10 seconds. Come on, IS-3. What are you doing? What are you doing? You had him. Oh, he was on the uh, on the balcony. Oh, okay, sorry. My bad. My bad. My bad. But the Vipera died. See, this is... These are one of the tanks which could seriously harm an IS-6 nowadays. Vipera. Five-shot autoloader. I mean, if that thing catches you, you're dead. That's it. What are you going to do? Okay, so they're waiting, 9-4. Someone's pinging his location. IS is pinging the location. Why? You guys are winning. You want him to move forward from now? Maybe that... Uh, maybe that ISC-152K Look, he's picking his location again Didn't notice what happened in the beginning of the battle Ooh, I was trying I was trying to find An angle, moron Nice, guys Trying to find an angle. And in case you guys haven't noticed, look over there. He's done over 3,000 damage. Unless he got a blind shot, we're going to see. We shall see. Okay. So, yeah. Obviously, the green team is winning. This, this green team is winning. Because for the others... They are the green team, and then this is the red team. <laughs> you guys ever thought about that? <laughs> kind of a conundrum. Let's see. There's only one forest spirit alive who hasn't been spotted, as well as an AMBT. And now it's only the AMBT. Nice. Forest spirit got taken out. You have a shot there? Ah, Wargaming said, no, you do not have a shot. I believe the MBT is in 
four shot auto loader or is it five shots? Is it four or is it five? Maybe five. Maybe five. Okay, now you could go in, you could trade and destroy him. Let's take a look at the shot. Nice. Yeah, of course. Nice. Very, 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 very nice. Now let's pause this and let's go look and see how he did on the first game. Okay, let's see. So, what at a global? Chimera, Hinometimera. When, when two thirds of the heavies are zero clue, zero clueless Muppets. So, how did he do? Second, Fire for Effect, Bruiser, 75.6k credits, 11.4 XP, 1000 XP, nice, 20, and 25 bonds. Let's see, 4525 W and 8. And he comes out on top and damage. Let's see. Top and damage. Tied with the Scorpion G in kills. Not bad, Scorpion G. And 1250 base XP. Very good, my friend. How did the enemy team do? Ooh, that A and B T did 4,355 damage. He must have gotten... Yeah, he got high caliber. And 7,588 W and 8. Very good. 734 base XP on a loss. Wow. That would have been 1,468 base XP if they had won. Ah, oh, well, sucks. I mean, look. Look at this. Look at these collage of Muppets on the enemy team. Object, Centurion, Scorpion, T T26, Super Persian, CS53. Zeros. Zeros. And two guys did under 500. This guy, okay. Yeah, well, 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 okay. Let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Running personal reserves. Uh, of course. I mean, you're you're playing a, you're not playing a premium tank. It's a reward tank. I really hate what Wargaming has done with these reward tanks. Reward tanks should be better than premium tanks. Because where is my reward? Where is my reward? That I have the tank. That's it. Should give extra credits. It should. Or it should give plus seventy five percent extra credits. Uh, compared to the premiums that give 50%. Because... And then people will play them more. But, okay, whatever. Reward tank. The only tanks in the game that most people don't like to play. <laughs> because it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Let's see. Nice. Very nice, my friend. Now, let's move on to the second replay. Okay. And here we are on the second... Mm game of the day well not always i don't always feature two games sometimes i feature one our same friend playing the same tank τελικά πόσες φορές το κάνεις εκείνη την ημέρα ρε μεγάλε i'm just kidding let's see now he's up against tier 9s very nice very very nice And he's on Fjords, he's on Eastern Spawn, regular battle. I like regular battles. Grand battles are not bad, but ah, whatever. I believe that they're good only if you want to um, do some missions, which are hard. Like do, for example, 8,000 damage with the Tank Destroyer. Let's see. The title of this video, the title of the replay says something, says something about a... Wait, let me pause this. Because in the title of the video, which I, I saw on Watch Record, he mentioned something about the first pen with high explosive. So we're going to play this. Let's see. <laughs> 614! Oh my god. And you guys, for those who've been following... You know what's going on with the tank wiki and you know in general you if you have some knowledge about the tanks you know that the burrask is highly susceptible to high explosive rounds but of course in the beginning of the round if you have a fast tank and you go to these points and you catch some light or some fast medium out of the open and you shoot it that's what happens especially the burrask especially when I play artillery and I see a Burrask, I say, ha ha ha, yummy, yummy, yummy. Well, of course, if someone spots him, I say, yummy, yummy. Because if it doesn't, if someone doesn't spot him, I say, <laughs> I cry. <laughs> Careful, buddy, that Kinsey Panzer is, is a... 
I, I, you cannot script this. You cannot script this. <laughs> Look at that. 460. APCR. Ay, ay, ay. That's the tier 9. Uh, kind of like reward vehicle, bomb vehicle, whatever you want to call it. You can get it for bombs now. Back in the day, to get these vehicles, you had to... Ay, ay, ay. The things that you had to go through. Okay, so we get some spawning that Kunzi. Kunzi is tier 9, isn't it? Yep, it's tier 9. Tier 9 medium, and I believe it has that pneumatic suspension, whatever you want to call it, siege uh, thingy, whatever whatever you call that. All the crap that Wargaming has added into the game. Uh, siege mode, uh, fast cars, r r auto loaders, auto reloaders, which are even more overpowered they're overpowered you have to be you have to be honest we love them we love to play them but we don't love to go against them which is a little bit eh, a little bit hypocritical but what are you gonna do it's human nature to be a little bit hypocritical it is unfortunately we only want the best for us and we don't want our enemies or our in this case our fellow human who's playing against us to have these things If we could play a game where we had like impenetrable armor, uh, super fast speed, super reload speed, no aiming time, and a tank that just does everything and is super overpowered in every aspect and cannot be penetrated, and going up against Muppets that don't even know how to play the game, we would do that. We would. Well, every now and then for fun. But then again... Could that be the reason why a warm gaming has added bots in the game so you could have some fun every now and then especially if you are a returning player after i believe two months if you've abstained from world of tanks for two months and you are a returning player war gaming gives you this warm-up mode in which you go up against bots your damage counts your credits count you make a lot of credits but Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. Correct me on this. Let me know in the comments below. You can not do missions? Something like that. Anyway, nice shot there on the LTTB. Lick, lick the tin bullet. <laughs> lick the tin bullet. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, guys, silly. At least, look. When I do the commentary, I have fun. Okay? I enjoy it. If you guys enjoy it with me... Welcome to the family. If you hate me and you're one of those guys who leave dislikes, well, 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 Chestika. <laughs> Chestika in Greek means I don't care. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you're helping me grow the channel with your even with your dislikes because the algorithm goes up. When you like a video or you dislike a video, you help the channel go grow. So thank you to the haters for giving me all the attention. <laughs> No, no, seriously, I'm not being sarcastic. You guys are actually helping me, so I owe you a th thanks anyway. Ooh. Ooh, while he was still there, I mean, when you get spotted with a TD, what do you do? You move! <laughs> you move! Or if you know that your enemies... Let me teach you a trick. Let me teach you a trick. We're going to pause this. And we're going to go into the free camera. Let me show you a trick. Let me show you a trick, guys. You guys are going to benefit from this. Let's go to that destroyed scorpion. Let me show you a very nice trick that I personally do. So, let's say that I'm the scorpion, okay? And in front of me, I have... Now, now I'm the red guy and the enemy is the green guy. Makes sense, right? Yeah, makes sense. So... We're going to come over here. We have in front of us how many enemies? We have uh, RU 251. We have the Chimera. We have the T 54, probably. Or, or even if we cannot see these guys and we're fighting someone else, let's suppose that. Oh, for the love of God. Sorry, you guys can't see this. Sorry. Okay, so. Something stupid happened, but okay, I, I fixed it very quickly. And I'm over here with my tank destroyer, okay? I get spotted, because I took a wrong shot, someone got a lucky angle on me, someone proxy spotted me, whatever the case may be. 
and I got spotted. I start wiggling around, moving left and right, etc., etc. At some point, I know that all the enemies have taken their shots, or I'm guessing. So what I do, at the final seconds, I stand still on purpose for one or two seconds before I suspect that I'm no longer spotted. I wait a couple of more seconds, very few, two or three, and I adjust my position a little bit. Usually what happens, experienced players are like, ah, oh, look at the idiot. He thinks that he's no longer spotted. Let me shoot in the same location. They shoot in the same location and they miss. I hope you guys understood that. Let's get back to the game. If you didn't, let me know in the comments below and I will explain it further. Okay, let's see. Speed is at... Hmm. Normal? Great. What is our friend doing? Oh, sorry. That was me with the, free, with the free camera. Oh, sorry about that. No, wait. This is a free camera. What was he doing? I'm asking the Greek, what were you doing? Were you looking towards God? <laughs> it's, an ex it's an expression that we say in Greek. I thought it was the free camera. Okay, my bad. Let's see. Score is 5-2. Enemy has a torn wagon, a shit PK, and SU at 30 pm. I've... Look how many premium tanks they still have. At least. Hello! Ooh! Getting spotted in the ISU 152K is not good. Because you are slow, you're big, you know, bulky. I'm surprised that SU 130PM died. This one, this guy right over here. I'm surprised that he died. Because the SU has very good camo. He must have gotten really unlucky. Okay, let's make this a little bit faster. Until he gets there, because this, there's no action happening here, so there's no point. Once he goes around the corner, I'm going to slow it down. There you go. There you go. See? Hello. Hello, 50TP. Thank you for giving me some bouncing uh, whatever. And his hull sucks. Ooh, another bounce from the Waffenträger. And you're dead. And you're dead, of course. If that would have missed... I would have pulled out the little bit of hair that I have. Honest to God. Because, I mean, okay. It's a heavy tank, but it's still, it's, a, it's the side of the tank. It should auto pen. It should. With the... Uh, even with a meager 218 pen. I don't think that has that thing has 218 pen on the... Or even 192 pen. Okay, great. High explosive, high explosive. Ah, 471, I'll take it. This guy's about to die in the next three seconds. Three, four... Mm. Okay, make that seven seconds. Not always accurate. And... Here come the heroic green team going up against one guy. That poor... Well, no longer exists. But, surprisingly, he died in the end. Even though he got spotted there and <laughs> he made his way down, you know, the ramp and etc. Okay, let's go to the post-game stats. And for my channel members, I'm not going to repeat what I said before. Let's see. Okay, here we are on what record? Let me find the right game. Here we are. Let me check. Yep. Here we are. So... My phone is back there. I threw it. I, I literally throw my phone. That's, uh, let's see. What at a global? Yeah. Chimera. When the first high explosive connects. Especially when you are shooting burrasks. <laughs> Second. Fire for effect. Spotter with a Chimera. Uh, WN8 5.3k. And let's see, 85.7k credits, 10.7k XP. Very nice. How did you do? Ah, three and a half thousand damage. Wait, let's see. let's check the game. How much did it say? Aha! Aha! Look at this, guys. Look, let me check, let me check something. Let me alt tab between these two. 3,173 in the game. 
but the actual damage, 3,495. So he got a blind shot in there, at least one. Uh, first in damage, second best in kills, tied with these guys. And 1176 base XP. How did the enemies do? 50 TP did, did good. Torn Wagon tried. And you have, let me see, how many people under 500? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And on his team, 1, 2. Yeah, okay. It was balanced. Yeah, war gaming balance. I feel sorry for these teams that die with these huge differences. I love the games which, you know, they progress. 1-1, one, 2-1, one, 3-4, one, 5-6, 7-6. You know, slowly, slowly, the numbers start to change. Those are balanced games. But the rest, they're just... You have these games of 15-0, 15-1, 15-3, 15-5 at best. Okay, so... Our hero... Took 11 shots, 8 hit, 8 penetrated. Very nice. And he made some credits with his personal reserve. I mean, yeah, because, I mean, guys, if in case you haven't noticed, look, look, or look down here. Look, look down here where it says 5th, uh, the 12th of May, which was two days ago, at 1024 over here, the first game on Outpost. And the other game was. At 10.55, 10.24, 31 minutes later, half an hour later. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And he made credits because he had personal reserves running. Okay, guys, that was it for today. Don't forget to check out channel membership. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Today, I believe, is the 29th or 28th or 29th video. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm going to have to check my channel. And um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Or dislike. It helps. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.